Let's discuss and take a look at FlexiCapture for Invoices' ability to work without a database. In FlexiCapture for Invoices, machine learning is now used to detect company names and addresses when no company data has been imported into the datasets. So that's true for vendor information and business unit information. Also, FlexiCapture for Invoices tries to detect the source country of the invoice because knowing the country of a vendor or business unit enables the program to select the right tax rates and keywords. And this can help us detect the right tax amounts. We will revisit this topic at the end of this demo. So let's start up by looking at this project here for the United States. Uh, a Flexi Capture for Invoices project for the U.S. This project does not have any connected databases. So if I go into Project Document Definition, Edit, go to Document Definition Properties, click on the Datasets tab, we can see that our datasets, Vendor Dataset, Business Unit Set, they have no data at all. So we can close out and look at our working batch. This batch has already been recognized, so we can just jump in and take a look at the data that's been captured. So we have the business unit data captured. We see the name, company name, and the address. And same thing for the vendor. We have the company name and we have the address. Keep in mind that the neural networks extraction algorithm works such, in such a way that it extracts the address as an entire block without separating out the city, street, and zip code, etc. Uh, for U.S. Flexi Capture for Invoices projects, the country is detected as United States by default. A special country detector for the scenario of working without data, set data, is not used here and we can scroll down and we can see that the invoice number, invoice date, and invoice total was detected correctly. Now let's jump over and explore how working without a database looks when using European invoice projects. So I'll close this project and open this project. Once again, let's check the document definition. We'll go to document definition properties. And again, we see that there's no data set data here at all, no business unit data, no vendor data. And we can close here and take a look at our working batch. And again, the business unit data is detected correctly as well as the vendor data. Again, all is one block. So the neural network was at play capturing that data. And again, it doesn't separate out the city and street. For European Flexi Capture for Invoices projects, the country is detected by a special country detector. This country information is not recorded to any field, but you can see it in the recognition log. And let's see what that looks like. We'll go ahead and clear analysis results. And I'll right click and I will recognize. And we can look at the log file. And the log file will give us the detail. It's right there. For vendor, it detected the country code, code Great Britain, and the same thing for the business unit. We'll open up this re-recognized document, and again, we see all the data that was extracted. Uh, but also, we extracted the invoice number and the invoice date and the invoice total correctly. The country detector, which functions essentially as a black box, detected the country Great Britain correctly, and therefore, importantly, it applied the correct country-specific keywords 
and tax rates. The total field is detected correctly because the correct country-specific keyword was found, which means that the country detector was successful. Also note that the country fields for business unit and vendor are left empty, as these fields are filled with values only from the data set, which we do not have. And of course, in this scenario, without any data in the data sets, we can still enable line item extraction. So let's go ahead and do that. Additional fields and features. And we will scroll down here and click line item extraction. And I'll close and publish my document definition. I'll clear analysis results. And I'll just recognize one document here. And we'll open up and we'll see that line items were extracted. We also get uh, irrelevant rule errors because we weren't able to match data in the data set, but that rule error can be disabled easily because there is no line item data in the data set. So that's super easy to resolve.